Hi, I'm The Sound's Andy Chanley. I do afternoons, and it's my pleasure to sit down with some of our guests for the Sunday night guest DJ show, My Turn. And coming very soon, the guest DJ will be Fran Drescher. Thanks Yay. very much for stopping by. Thank and you. Also Esther Drescher. Esther Drescher. Yes, is also the famous Esther Drescher. I love this. The this ballet. Is she's, she's the belly girl. She's got a front butt, just yeah, a little bit. She, <laughs> <laughs> it's the most delicious thing. I wish people would play with my belly like this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. Right now, let's just do the interview. Um, but, uh, and everybody's going to want to know because it's the question that all of us asked. Uh, what kind of... What kind of dog is that? Yeah. Well, uh, I know. She's a Pomeranian by way of Ewok Planet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she's totally amazing and, you know, incredible. She doesn't act like a dog. Doesn't sound like a dog. <laughs> Nothing about her is dog like. And people always gather around her in circles. They all ask, can I take a picture? Can I pet your dog? It's like, it's crazy. <laughs> people don't notice. Uh, that's Van Drescher. They, they're paying. Well, they ask me a question, then I answer, and then they say, oh, it's you, because then I have to speak. <laughs> but prior to that, she totally eclipses me, which is fine. I feel like Superman's mom. She came down from another <laughs> planet, and I was lucky enough to be her mom. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to ask your mother some questions. Um, I think everybody, if, if they take an, an acting role uh, of yours and they uh, had to had to know you for one, they would probably say the nanny, and that doesn't really jive with being a, uh, a DJ so much. But um, one of my favorite roles of yours was Bobby Fleckman, the, uh, the no-nonsense manager of Spinal, Spinal Tap. Tap. Do people still come up and to you on the street? And now you know I have and, a song out. Yeah, people always say Spinal Tap. They recognize me from Spinal Tap as well as the nanny. You know, it's always interesting to see who recognizes me for which parts. Mm -hmm. It's very telling. But uh, I have a song on iTunes now. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm a professional singer now. Well, <laughs> I sing from my lower register. Excellent. <laughs> my, my producer says. Is there a chance? Eye that... for an eye on iTunes. We're going to play it on the rotation for sure. Excellent. All right, so that's coming up on... And I may sing a little ditty right now for uh, Cancer Schmanz in my organization. Would you? But that'll be in my upper register. <laughs> All right, this is for her, her, uh, her charity Can organization. Cancer Schmanz organization. Which we'll, we'll talk about in just a moment. Yes. By all means, please, favor okay. us with the tune. Thank you. We all know someone with cancer, and that's sad. When we find the cause for cancer, we'll be glad. Have you heard the latest rumor? Be a medical consumer. Cancer schmancer is the answer. We're so rad. So insist you get a cancer screening test. Cause stage one diagnosis is the best. If you catch it on arrival, 95% survival. Cancer schmancer is the answer. We're the best. Text Fran at 85944 to make a $5 donation. Don't forget to reply yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Nicely done. Yep, we're all about early detection. Stage one is the cure. Forget about this looking for a cure. It's like $200 billion later since Nixon waged the war on cancer, still no cure. It's like if everybody was diagnosed in stage one, boom, there's your cure. And that's, that's the, the, the story behind this organization. Uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're a cancer survivor. I am. And mm -hmm. uh, for what, nine years I, now? Yes, yes. I had uterine cancer. It took me two years and eight doctors to get a proper diagnosis. I got in the stops more times than Roy Rogers. <laughs> but anyway, now I'm all better and it's all good. And, and I, that's, that's the key is, is finding early it detection. early. Absolutely. Then you have a, you know, oftentimes better than 95% chance survival. So that sounds like, you know, the best cure we got going. Yeah. We just have to make sure that we demand that and not succumb to big business health insurance, who's be more beholden to, um, you know, the, uh, their stockholders, stockholders than their customers. Right. So uh, in, in doing all of this, one of the things I love is that you, you have fun with it, and it's much more fun to do something when it's enjoyable and you know you're doing something uh, great with it. But you've been recognized also by the State Department. You're, yes, you're, a, you're, a, you're an actual U.S. Army I boy. Know, I know. I, well, I got a bill passed in Washington that got signed into law and funded. 
uh, the Gynecologic Cancer Education and Awareness Act, the first of its kind in U.S. history. And as a consequence to that, I was written up twice in the congressional record for my lobbying efforts and then appointed public diplomacy envoy for women's health issues by the U.S. State Department under Condi Rice. And now I continue to serve under Hillary Clinton. And uh, I'm sent all over the world uh, and uh, to uh, talk about, you know, women's self-empowerment, taking control of your body and transforming from being a patient into a medical consumer and uh, how we have to live more healthfully and more preventatively. I, I read about these things and, and, uh, and when they happened, I, I was following this in the news as I'm sure uh, everyone was. And I also know that uh, it, it's neat that you're trying to do some of these things from the inside, getting involved politically and, and actually trying to get legislation passed and those sorts of things. And at the time, am I mistaken, didn't you uh, toy with the idea of filling Hillary, Hillary Clinton's I did. Uh, when Hillary, yes, when Hillary stepped down, I threw my hat in the ring. And that is a desire of mine to run for uh, New York Senate. Uh, but uh, I didn't get appointed by uh, the, governor the governor of New York, which is fine. Um, but that's only one person's opinion. And so I'm, I'm not ready to run in 2010. But I suspect that I will run at some point. And, and the platform uh, would be probably, I'm guessing, a number of, of women's uh, issues and, and health-related issues? Uh, you know, well, uh, certainly yes to that, but also um, civil liberties and uh, gay rights and kids' rights and education and uh, creating, you know, more female-friendly societies. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, the, uh, ecology, I'm, I'm really very upfront and center in that area, too. I, you know, I have several platforms, but, uh, you know, the thing that keeps me busiest right now, and it's a natural because I'm a women's health advocate, you know, as a cancer survivor, that that would be what people would think of me as, but I'm constantly uh, out there kind of fighting uh, the good fight for a myriad of subjects. And, um, you know, I started the Cancer Schmanza movement, and uh, that's, you know, a big thing. We have a big concert coming up here in, in downtown Los Angeles right. called the Million Dollar Revival. And, and who are some of the, the artists that are going to be? Oh, we've got great people performing. I mean, um, uh, definitely Jackson Brown. Jackson who Brown's going to be involved in it. just and, um, amazing and so great. The Bird in the Bay. John is... Olivia Newton-John, The Bird and the Bee, who's totally happening and up and coming. Erica Rose, who was like one of the iTunes picks of the week. And, uh, uh, you know, Caitlin uh, Crosby. And uh, who else? We've got like great Whis Whispertown 2000. Huh? Chris Pierce. And we've got a comedy troupe that is uh, a, HBO is doing a big documentary about. Um, I'm going to be hosting, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. It's kind of going to have a little bit of a uh, of a vaudeville feel to it because it's going to be a mixture of of comedy and music and goodwill, and it's all dedicated to raising money for uh, low income uninsured women in downtown Los Angeles so that they can receive cancer screening tests for women's cancers on Fran Vans. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a fantastic cause. And, and uh, that's December 13th. December 13th. At the uh, Million Dollar Theater on Broadway and 3rd. And the, uh, the link for that is, um, is, uh, you, is uh, tiny, tiny URL, right, tiny URL slash I heart, H E A R T, uh, C S, cancer, for cancer schmancer, so right? I heart cancer schmancer, uh, right. tinyurl.com slash I heart C S. There you go. Right, exactly. And, and I anybody hope to can see make a, a donation again, uh, they can text. Yes, you can. Yes, you can totally text I Fran. That in, in, in the day. Yeah, text Fran at eight five nine four four, and uh, make a five dollar pledge. And don't forget to reply yes. Excellent. 
Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's, it's all good. Great to meet you. It's great to meet Esther. Esther Drescher. Drescher. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we can't wait to hear the songs that you pick, including your own. Yeah, uh, thank you. For my turn. Well, we've got all the uh, all the recording artists from the Million Dollar Revival on December 13th at the Million Dollar Theater in downtown LA, and uh, that's a Sunday, so it ought to be like a fun kind of. It's a little bit earlier, and uh, you know. You could be hungover from Saturday night, lay in bed all day, and then come out and listen to some really good music and uh, do something good for the community, give back. Nice. Good plan. Well, thank you for sitting down and talking to us. Thank, thank you for doing you. My, my Turn. Thank you. My pleasure. It's great to meet you. It's great thank to meet you. you. And listen very soon, uh, coming on 100.3 The Sound, a guest DJ show called My Turn, Sunday nights at 6 p.m., and don't forget to donate to Cancer Schmancer. Woohoo.